They say that good things come to those who wait. But on paper, I've had an illustrious career, maybe even an enviable one, but it hasn't been easy and it certainly hasn't been lucky. I first contacted Future Fit Training in July 2005 as a 24 year old who had never followed a formal training programme and had only ever been into a gym a handful of times. But I was athletic, I was keen and determined to forge a career for myself within the fitness industry. Fast forward to today and I'm an accomplished PT, although I prefer to use the term coach. I'm a mentor, a presenter, an educator, regular magazine columnist and facility owner. The fitness industry has taken me around the world over the last 14 years, but since 2016 I've gone full circle and settled back into rural Norfolk where I was born. Early on in my career I worked for most of the big name gym chains as a PT and I was always keen to go above and beyond to try and improve my knowledge. In 2007, I even travelled to Cincinnati in the USA to become the first non-American to be certified in America by kettlebell world champion Valery Fedorenko. I also made a point of attending every conference that I could, identifying every decent PT I could lay my eyes on and finding out how they got so good, basically so I could follow suit and copy them. Once social media emerged, I went through years worth of magazines, making note of anyone that had contributed and I added them as friends. It actually surprises me how few people contact me now that I'm writing for those same publications. Within a couple of years in the industry, my kettlebell qualification had given me the opportunity to take advantage of a position as an unpaid intern at Yorkshire County Cricket Club and Castleford Tigers Rugby League team. Here I learned how to work with professional sportsmen and also within athlete development. These are skills I continue to utilise on a daily basis as I still work with a number of elite athletes and this has actually led to me launching an athlete development programme for youngsters within my community. A full-time paid role with Sheffield United soon followed and this took me to China and actually gave me the opportunity to work with the Chinese Olympic squad at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. I first stepped behind the scenes within the fitness industry with a role as training academy manager for Jordan Fitness, which saw me average over a thousand CPD students per year for several years. My networking skills had only improved since the early days and that led to various roles with leading global brands including Body Power, MyZone and even a stint with Bear Grylls. Being able to step on a stage at large events, which I used to attend as a delegate, or being asked to write for global publications, which I used to buy every month, and even being invited back to national gym chains to teach workshops where I used to pay rent really is a complete privilege and it's a dream come true. Considering everything I've accomplished, my favourite part of the job is still getting up at 5am, unlocking my own facility come wind, rain or shine and then helping a diverse range of people who come through the door every day. They never fail to put a smile on my face and they make me feel like I've never worked a day in my life. If I could give you any advice, it would be to make mistakes, but learn from them and don't repeat them. That will see you quickly rise ahead of most of the competition. If you can then challenge your beliefs, avoid complacency and never stop learning, then you are in for a long and fruitful career in this thriving industry. Good things really do come to those who wait, but I believe good things come to those who make them happen. <laughs>